Welcome back everybody, let's play Nicktoons, Attack of the Toybots. Last episode we completed Factory Zone 1, and we opened up our next destination, uh, Zone 2. Or Factory, there's a lot of Factory in this game. As you saw last episodes, they're really long. We also completed a good chunk of our Master Model Collection. It would be nice if we didn't give you the names of all the Master Models before you actually collected them, so you could all be a surprise. But, oh well. Speaking of Mr. Bleak, actually... Well, I'll talk about him later when I actually get his... Ma ah, model. Because there's something I do have to say about him, actually, as well as another character that we'll be finding later, too. Or it's not gonna like bother doing those. Is it trying to get all these? Well, it gives you a very somewhat vague description of how to complete them. Anyways. Not much to do about town to the next zone. Oh, well, I wonder who. <laughs> I wonder if I can collect that person. <laughs> well, now we know we can play as Sam. Alright, so I don't have any plans to buy any extra uh, costumes yet, although I probably will buy the chicken suit tech at some point. I already played, played a Stimpy a little bit last episode. I didn't get to give Jimmy any attention. So, how about we go along as him and. Who else? I don't mind stuff you hate being with us. Or... Ah. Or we could have the nice old duo. Let's do that. If anything, my only real complaint about the levels in this game is that it just feels like everything's the same with how much time you spend in the factory. There are three huge factory zones in the whole game. I also don't like how the game just kind of spills everything for you. And then it tells you, like, what all the levels are beforehand, what all the master models are beforehand, and the opening it spoils who you get to play as. Whoa, controls. Why didn't that save? But it's something of a minor nitpick. There's also the, whole, the fact that pretty much everybody feels the same when you play as them, but whatever. Whoa, okay, he can roll now. Feels a bit more natural playing as Timmy, though. You know, if it's kind of weird for him to be as light, is it? What? Okay, thanks, Goo, for just being in the center there where I can't pick you up. Oh, and it's telling me to... Oh, okay. And then there's something telling me that I need to be hitting these enemies in midair with my range attack that I don't have. How do I get that? Ow. How do I hit these things? This is a major issue that plagues our society today. Jimmy and Timmy do not know how to handle such a situation. It's just, I, I don't... How do I do this? I don't think I can just... Okay. There we go. Anyways, yeah, I noticed when they were bashing me in the face. Yeah, I forgot just how little health you had in this game. It feels really weird after playing Battle for Volcano Island, which actually gave you a good deal of health. All of the things. And Cosmo! I'm pretty much dead already. Nope, and I can't pick up his goo because. Why would you ever actually want to pick up the drops from enemies? So I actually have a reason to take these guys out because those circuits lead me to believe that I can just go the other way. Now let's do that. So these guys will probably respawn. Whoa. Thankfully these guys aren't exactly dead eyes at the same time. Whoa. What? Okay, he can hit me while I'm hitting him. That's nice to know. Nice waste of time, though. I'll have to take these things all, all out again, too. Alright, time to speedrun some stuff. Actually, something that I uh, was talking about in an earlier episode that I haven't corrected on is that, from what I had said, this game was unfortunately not able to get all the voice actors for, for the uh, characters that were included in it. 
that we're on in the shows, but in fact that's actually not the case. Supposedly managed to get uh, the, every original voice actor on this show, or uh, on, in this game, which I'm pretty surprised and impressed by, because I mean, even for video games that have that are for uh, shows that are still ongoing, you'll usually see at least some act voice actors absent. Where's Jimmy? Speaking of fairies. But, for example, where's Jimmy? Oh, don't roll. Oh, thank you for blowing up the fairies. Oh yeah, probably can destroy those too. So many searches to get everywhere. But what I was talking about was how in Malfrey and Bottom, you didn't actually have other original voice actors either. Is this forward? What? If I was a contestant, they wouldn't need to hold a contest. Oh, what? Oh, you showed the cutscene too late. Or in the wrong place, I guess. What's over here, though? Is this a tube? Whoa. I can go up there, I know it. Stop deceiving me, game. Lucky I wasn't in my jammies when the robots abducted me. Oh, yeah, because it's like it said, Sam. Okay. Well, it'll be a little bit more humorous than what, t what Jimmy just said. Whoa! What Jimmy just said, if you could actually have his secret costume be him in his pajamas. But... Okay, it's kind of hard to perceive depth when everything is so far away from the camera. This game's so forgiving, despite being so eager to kill you. It's kind of interesting. Although those kinds of games are pretty popular as of late, aren't they? Cloudberry Kingdom, Super Meat Boy. Hi. <laughs> it didn't really give me enough time to react. I, I knew that there were things there, but I didn't know where they were. Wow. Well, okay, that game made me go the perfect distance to die. Thank you. Game. Why are these things even killing me? Oh yeah, I forgot... <laughs> I'll have to show you this in a minute. I forgot what Jimmy's double jump was in this game. It's so laughably dumb, but funny anyways. Some place where the camera's closer. Go away. This look, looks like it's the closest it's gonna get. Ta-da! Oh, well. It's like that when he does a normal double jump, which looks oddly acrobatic for him. <laughs> and that strikes a nice pose when you're actually moving forwards when you jump. I love it. And I died. I didn't notice that actually, that characters apparently have different double jump animations. Or at least Jimmy does. If you're moving when you double jump. Huh? Talk that was awkward. It's kind of weird how the music dims when a character's talking, and then sometimes the character actually waits too long to speak when the audio clip starts. So you just have an awkward moment of no music, and you know somebody's gonna talk, but it doesn't happen for quite a while yet. Whoa, okay. Can't kind of jump that. No, go. I much prefer to not be falling victim to sharpshooters. Ow. Like I have said before, though, they're not exactly great with their aim. Which makes life a bit easier. You can't beat me. I'm a kid. Oh, skipping. But anyways. As long as you're moving, they pretty much can't hit you. Which is usually not too hard of a thing to do. Something tells you that this part of the game is so heavily based on hot pills or something. I don't know, some of the vehicle related things just remind me of that a lot. By the way, why would you even need car related toys? I thought the whole point was to make copies of the uh, heroes. Oh come on, of course now there's something for Stimpy. I still haven't gotten Arceus response to Stimpy being in this game. I'm hoping it would be at least vaguely exciting. Ow! What? Why does that hurt me? Darn it! I keep messing up the buttons 
for uh, crouching. Keep pressing the switch button to crouch and the crouch button to switch. But this green sign, as indicated by, well, by its uh, down arrow, just lets you crouch under it. Where's Jimmy? I want to be Jimmy because I have played as Jimmy for quite a while already. Oh, these things can turn into guns now. Great. Go away. Break things. Thank you for telling me to break all of your things, factory. I guess it's usually best not to... Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Where did Kazuo and Wanda go? They just flew away. But, um... I guess it's usually, not, usually best not to question. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Jimmy. That's all I was saying. But it's really best not to really question... But elements like direction and whatnot in a video game, I guess. Unless it's a video game that actually happens to care about doing those things well. Which there are some of, but leave me alone. The thing I've noticed in this game is you can't actually recover in midair from getting hurt like you can in Battle for Volcano Island, which is a small detail but makes a big difference in gameplay. At least you're someone like me, like me that gets hit a lot. And enemies in this game are really good at actually breaking out of combos. Which is what got me killed as Timmy early when I got was at the top of that elevator. Hey, saved for some reason. This goo has your name on it. Also, I just picked up another goo canister. It's kind of weird. And it looks different. Yeah, see? Well, now Timmy's holding it. But, uh... I think it holds double goo or something. I'm... Oh, okay, that's a nice little mugshot of Jimmy. But... Yeah, I'll look up in the instruction book or something. But there are actually two different kinds of uh, goo packs you can pick up. One of which looks like two goo packs combined together, kind of. Yeah, it's this thing right here. Oh, it tells you. Okay, so this one locks on. This one's more powerful, and then this one actually locks on enemies more, or something like that. I think this one has auto aim, whereas the other one doesn't. I don't quite remember. I remember there being a difference, though. Which, of course, there would be, since there are two different objects, but still. Dimmy. Dimmy. Jimmy dodges quite efficiently vertically for having such a big head. Hi, Timmy. Yo, why can't, can't Timmy just poof everywhere? Hmm. Oh hey! Showtime. I'm glad we made it through that. Actually, I am kind of wondering why Timmy couldn't use magic for more things in this game. I mean, they had a, kind of an excuse for why he couldn't do certain things in uh, Nick Chains Unite, which also carried over to Attack with the Toybots, but not Attack with the Toybots, uh, Battle for Volcano Island. Man, this is actually a lot of circus back here. But you'd think that he could be, at least do something that isn't just like shooting stuff, or at least if you would be allowed to shoot stuff, he'd be allowed to do other things with magic too. But oh well. That's not supposed to ha be how it works. Okay, I don't think you're supposed to be able to stand on these. By the way, where's the music? Game. Ow. Oh, I can't recover my Game, your music, please. Audio settings like work. Really have hit bottom if the only sidekicks he can get are the ones he has to build. Maybe those are the best kinds of sidekicks. But seriously, like game, music, accompaniment is nice. This is actually really what tedious not hearing music. Or I'm guessing it's gonna play music actually after I finish this section. Although there wasn't a loading screen. Well, I can this section, so I'm not sure. I can leave those three circuits there. Nope, gotta commit. No matter how I look at it, this factory's production model makes no sense. Stop repeating so lines. That's my one complaint about all the things characters say in this game. I like it a lot. The characters say all the things they do in this whoops, game, but they say a little bit too much sometimes for having as few lines as they do. 
They should either have more lines or just speak less often. As cool as it is to actually hear them speak, I think it's kind of old. Like that. I've never, I don't recall ever having had this happen in the game. Having just, having music just stop. Game. Be nice if I, okay, stop that. Depth. Would be nice though if I could actually get through this area to see if that would actually solve the issue. Take it slow. There we go. Talk, not talking does help a little bit when playing video games sometimes, which is unfortunate for someone such as myself that's being a let's player while playing these video games. There is. Music? Yeah! Oh, it actually does have lungs. Can you use brings us to the model chamber? Okay. So that should fix the music. I don't recall ever having that happen, though. Maybe it has happened to me before, I just didn't remember. It's been a long time since I played this game. Whoa, sorry about bumping the mic. Oh yeah, why do I keep get, losing my goon when I come to these model chambers? I hate how that happens. Because I don't have my goon anymore when I come out of them either. It'll also be kind of interesting if we actually start fighting different enemies. Well, oh, uh, Timmy. Cause I wonder an interesting place just then. But it'll be interesting if there was actually like different combat throughout the game whenever you went through these. I think um each I do think that each master model chamber does have what uh, okay. Does have different enemies you fight, but they don't really get that much harder or anything like that that I recall, so Boom. That is not the default control scheme that I'm using. Leave me be. Oh, okay. Timmy! How about you just take over? Because Jimmy is not doing his job sufficiently. Boom! Cool. I think it's kind of weird they actually chose to use the all grown up Tommy instead of the original Tommy, since I don't think that series did as well as the original, but whatever. I'm not actually that familiar with like ratings of Nicktoons shows, so eh. I wanna imagine they did as well though. Those kinds of spin-offs that just kinda like exist to prolong a series existence usually don't. I'm imagining if the uh Rugrats cast any playable in this game. That'd be weird. Okay, they were playable in Nicktoons Party Blast though, so. Oh, they looked less out of place because everybody else in the game also had kind of the same, like, very young, infantile looking style. Where they thank you for goo. Where their heads were way bigger than the rest of their bodies. Wish I could. Ow. Wish I could play that on the 360, but I'll get off. On uh, Nicktoons Party Blast. It was never released for the PS2. I think it was. It was supposed to be a cancel for a release for the PS2, but it was cancelled or something like that. Get off of me! But Oh god! Timmy! Why are you just attacking me? Because I don't think I have much reason to take those things out. But um uh, I would like I would like to play that game if I could, but I don't have a console I can play it on. Because I'm pretty sure it was only released for Xbox. It wasn't released on GameCube, I'm pretty sure of that. I recall looking not too long ago to see if it was released on uh, the PS2. I'm pretty sure I looked on the PS2, unless it was the GameCube I was looking at. Can I break it this way? Oh, I can. And I believe it just wasn't released for the GameCube, and it was supposed to be released for the PS2, but it never was. And, okay, seriously, game, I can see outside of the game world right now, and I can see the top of your tube. Never let the player see the top of your tube. I, it's not like I have to try. It's just right here. I can see behind the background wall, too. It's actually kind of pitiful. I don't feel like I'm indoors at all. It's kind of weird. Where exactly am I? Screw you, Timmy. 
be nice if the quotes that these characters had were a little bit more situational too. Fuck. No, I was about to go try to get some health from those guys, but there's some health right here. Not really, I just ran away. This is gonna be another challenging section, in contrast. The first of many failures. Uh, uh Timmy, how about you take over for this? The good guy's work is never done. You're not exactly a hero, Timmy, but whatever. In fact, you're kind of a whoops, jerk. A lot. But you're a usually likable jerk, I guess. Oh, that's okay. That's instant death. Why not? Yeah, it's a relatable character at times, regardless. Why does that kill me? Why doesn't it just knock me off like everything else does? Because I could benefit from being able to just recover if I screw that up. There we go. First time I just couldn't figure out what the duck button was for some reason. Like I said before, I tend to get those buns were screwed up in this game. I'm not too sure why. And more fairies. I can see the bombs of your tubes. Game! I've seen the tops of your tubes and the bombs of your tubes. Now I really like some of you see the tops and bombs of your tubes. You have nothing left after that. I'm going to see the top and bomb of this tube too. Oh, what? That's... Sure. How did I come out of this tube? I'm... Oops. I'm guessing I must... I guess Calamitous has perfected teleportation. In fact, don't a lot of the enemies in this game just like spawn out of nowhere? I guess that's actually a feasible possibility. And teleportation tubes are actually really efficient for factory, not that this place is really a gym at factory in the first place. Oh, I've almost been recording for 25 minutes. It's almost an episode's worth at this point. Okay. It's interesting to just notice out of nowhere. Jump, jump, jump. I don't... Oh, okay, I can pick this up anyways. Cool. Darn it. I, I guess after this jumping section, or if I... There's another room nearby, if I can get to that other room. Then that'll be the end of this episode. Not all the episodes of this game are going to be all that eventful. See you next time, guys. Bye.